Right, so that's the one set of claws on. As you can see, it's perfectly level at 90 degrees to the claws in all directions. What we need to do now is make the second U-piece exactly the same as we've made that one. So let's get our roughly about 40 mil flatten those pliers. Let's bend like that, make them straight and see how they fit together. So it happens, that's a pretty good guess. First off, make them fraction wider make them parallel and put this assembly together. Now what I should do first is just in case I'll just rub a file up and down in those grooves there just to make sure they're nice and clean. And let's pop it all together. Again, we need to get our tweezers to hold the whole thing together. Getting a bit complicated now with all of these wires going everywhere. And the claws, which way are we going? And let's put that together. Once it's in the tweezers, we can sort of go around it and refine it and make sure that everything is fine and make sure that everything's at 90 degrees and we're happy with the equal spacing. You can see here now this particular claw is slightly out. So we need to just to adjust it slightly to make sure that it's nice and straight. And that's looking good. Right, let's set that up. Ready to solder. So exactly the same. There's some borax again put it on the area where we're going to be soldering and also onto the area that's held as well. I've got a piece of solder that wants to come off of my brush. There we go. Let's put that into place like that. And we're going to solder this on now as well. Again, you really do have to be careful. You can't go putting the flame all over the rest of the wires. You just got to tease it in gradually because you don't want any other solder joints to come apart. The solder's just flown on that one. Let's turn it around. Make sure this all nice and square. Oh, for a second. Let's get that little bit of solder, put that onto the joint. Let's solder that one. There we go. Let's pickle that and we'll get on with the next stage. So we need to do the same as what we did to the first ring. We need to find the quarters on this as well. Just hold that into place like that there. I'm going to hold that on my tweezers. There we go. And I can just mark off that one there. And we need to cut those and file those as we did with the first ring. Like that. Use a thumb as a guide. Blade width. File the groove. And we'll do the same on the four quarters. Oops. 
activating. There we go. And I must admit, it is a very time consuming job making these settings, but it is nice to know that you have made it right from the start. And especially if you've got a stone that um, is an unusual size, is a huge stone, you just cannot buy a ready-made setting for. The ability to make a setting by hand is really good. It's never a skill that is wasted. And I made sure that that join on this ring was exactly on one of the slip there. Made sure that one of that join is exactly on one of the quarters. Let's bring our setting in now that we've made. All right, so now is the time just to straighten up any claws that are gonna be slightly off. Because this is the last chance you've got to make sure that everything aligns perfectly. Then, we put this ring into position. And we slide it down. In fact, it's a little bit on the tight side. But let's move that down. We go, let's bring that nice and tight. There we go, and we've got that nicely into position there. We'll get our tweezers. So although the ring is quite tight in there, we're gonna use our tweezers still to hold it all together. Like that, all right. Now we can solder the three rings together, sorry, the, the three wires together in one go. I'm gonna flux all the joints again. So the oxides don't get in the way and we can solder the three in one go, turn it around and then solder the one where the tweezers hold him. Let's put the solders into position. And the one on the back. I can't quite get it to go stand up for this one. There. Into position. Light up my torch. And let's solder them. One at a time, they're not trying to solve them all in one go. One at a time. There, and the torch round. That one there, from the back. That one there. I'll turn my, tor turn my torch off. Let's spin this around. Put it back in the tweezers. Not really worried too much about how it goes back in the tweezers. It doesn't have to hold that ring at all. It's just got to hold it steady for me when I come to solder it. There we go. And that's our 10th joint. Right, let's put that in the pickle. Make it nice and clean. On with the final step. There, that's our setting as we have it now. There's one stage left now, and that's to remove these bottom sections here. The solder's been uh, soldered on very nicely, very neatly. Um, it's just got a nice little fillet on either side here. It hasn't flooded anywhere because we've used a very small amount of solder. The solder's gone where we've wanted it to go, and all the joints are all back 
are all together exactly as they should be. So the next stage is just simply to remove the bottom section. And those U sections, the bottom parts, were there purely to keep the, let's put it by here, to keep the uh, uprights together and easier when we came to solder them. So that's what we've got. A setting now to go with this one for a project that I'm doing for a magazine. The claws are obviously a little bit too long. I could always come down just to trim them down a fraction just for now if you wanted to. Like that, make it look a bit neater. I've sawn off the bottom. If you wanted to, you can just get a file now just to come across, just to take off those bottom pieces to make it flush with the bottom ring there. So that's it. So I know it's taken us uh, quite a while to put this set in together. Obviously, I've done each stage quite slowly to show exactly how it's all, all put together. But obviously, the more you make, the faster you'll get at making them, obviously. It's a nice, simple setting. We've got four claws on this. If you went for a larger stone, perhaps like a 10 millimeter or slightly larger than that, well then perhaps you could put on six claws, for instance, and you'd use exactly the same way. You'd use the layout guides that are available on at the bench on the resources section, and you'd use the bottom part of the template there to get your six claws and the six screws on those top rings. And you'd use exactly the same idea with those U pieces to go over, except you'd make three pairs. And the job is as simple as that. Very simple, straightforward setting that in theory anybody can put together with the basic toolkit that we've got here. As I said, all you needed is your torch, tweezers, your soldering block, your borax for the solder to flow, bit of solder, few tools, and away you go. Practice it, make them perfect, and you'll be well away. It's an ideal little embellishment if you make a nice piece, a nice pendant, um, or a nice brooch. You can always make a couple of these settings up just to put some nice stones in. These particular stones are cubic zirconias, although it would be nice to use nice, pressure, semi-pressure stones into them. So that's the first film, uh, the first setting done. This is a wire setting. We're going to look at other types of setting in the next films. I'm Andrew Berry at The Bench. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.